hello and good afternoon um, peace and blessings be upon you this day I do uh, welcome you to poem praise too certainly if this is your first time tuning in please subscribe if you like um, the topic that I am discussing today uh, it's not going to be a poem today. Uh, today, we're still going to keep going through the extraordinary African Americans. Yes, this book. Um, next in line, like I said in my previous show, is Julian Francis um, Abadel, or Ebele. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I'm going to spell it for you. Um, his last name is spelled A B E L E. Um, during the time period of 1881 to 1950, and we have Paul Revere Williams. Yes, um, 1894 to 1980. These two are architects, and this is the information I have on the architects for all those individuals out there who... Um, actually um, have designs in their minds that they put down on paper blueprints and then certainly uh, allow the world to see um, their vision that started in their minds is what I think when I'm thinking about architects just thought I'd let you know that for you architectural individuals out there the lines are all Mr. Trumbar's but the shadows are all mine. Julian Abili, as quoted by Michael Adams, in A Legacy of Shadows. Now, African Americans, they helped build this country. And in the case of Julian, or Julian, and Paul, they helped design it as well. In 1902, I'm going to just pronounce it as being um, Julian instead of Julian. I don't know, maybe it's Julian, but I'm going to pronounce it Julian, okay? So you guys know who I'm talking about from this point forward. We're just going to say um, Julian and Paul. Now, it became they became the first Americans to graduate from the University of Pennsylvania School of Fine Arts and Architecture. He then traveled to Europe where he spent four years studying at El Ecole des Brex Arts in Paris. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that French correctly, but you certainly get the gist of what I'm talking about. Now, his work attracted the attention of Horace Trombar, a leading architect in Philadelphia. When Julian returned to the United States, he joined Trumbar's architect firm, and the two men worked closely together for 31 years. Now, Julian often vacationed in Europe, where he spent many hours sketching Gothic cathedrals and other buildings that influenced his own design. He became Trombar's chief designer and was responsible for much of the firm's most important work. This includes the design for the Institute of Fine Arts at New York City, not New York City, Fine Arts at New York University. Harvard's Wittener Library, and Wittener is spelled W-I-D-E-N-E-R, and much of Duke University, and the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Now, Paul Revere Williams was an orphan. His high school teacher in Los Angeles tried to discourage him when he said he wanted to be an architect, but William refused to give up. He worked his way through the University of 
Southern California, then spent two years studying at the Bukes Arc Institute in New York. He then returned to Los Angeles and in 1923 opened his own architect firm. Mm -hmm. Now in 1926, Williams became the first African American member of the American Institute of Architects. His work won many awards and prizes and President Calvin Coolidge appointed him to the National Monument Commission. He designed the Palm Springs Tennis Club and the homes of many movie stars, including Frank Sinatra. Now the work of both Julian and Paul is still admired for its beauty and elegance. Mm -hmm. Well, regarding Julian and Paul, I do thank you for tuning in to Poem Praise 2. Um, just finding out more information about our extraordinary African Americans. Now, I'm going to give you a preview of who's coming up next. Uh, the next uh, extraordinary African American is Paul Robertson. He's an actor, singer, and political activist during the time period of 1898 to 1976. And I'll be giving you more information about Mr. Robertson in just one moment. So please stay tuned and tune in to Poem Praise 2. And real soon, I'll be hollering at you. Until then, be blessed. Okay, y'all? Alrighty. Later.